Hi everyone, so it turns out that Blueberry somehow re reset itself, so I had to readjust all the dimensions again for fitting this window, which is kind of tedious, and I had to readjust the audio and the video settings and everything else, which, yeah. <laughs> and yes, as, as you can probably tell, we are doing this in the daytime in this episode right now, because I'm getting some recording time in for this afternoon, so... And luckily, since no one's home, I can actually do a little bit of... Whoa, whoa, what? I can actually do a little bit of... Playtime here, so... And... Oh! Lake Health music, that's very nice. And this media is actually not bad, too. Um, dude, this is, like, the place to be, man. I bet it is. I bet it's some kind of resort retreat. Let's see. Let's talk to you guys. Did I die and go to heaven? Because I'm in paradise. The sky is blue, the sea is warm, and the girls are smoking. Oh, yeah, I bet there are some really hot... I bet there are some hotties on the beach there. Fresh coconut milk, right off the... Tr no, coconut water is better. Sweet, tasty, delicious, good for humans and Pokemon. Only eight bucks. Want some? No. Not really. I'm just going to see the sights. I'm going to check out the beach and see if there are any... Oh! To see if there are any loose items on the beach. And it turns out one person did not want their full restore, so they're... So there we go. Um, yeah, again, very awkward loop, but okay. Again, we must not question the <laughs> the designer's choices to not, you know, export the audio, well, the audio slash MIDI tracks into Audacity and um, just kind of twerk them around a little bit so that they're a little bit more consistent and less awkward. So many hot girls, so little time. This must be Brockland. This must be the city where Brock rules all or something, because uh, apparently all the subjects here are also into women. And that's pretty neat. That's a pretty neat gimmick, having a hotel here. I mean, there was a hotel in Lily, Lily Cove City too, but you couldn't really stay the night. Hey there, you look like a trainer. Listen, can you do me a favor? I received this egg from a fr friend of mine from a faraway region, but I can't take care of it myself. Uh, blank text. Will you take it off my hands? Okay. Let me guess this egg is going to hatch into Togepi. Or some kind of similar Pokemon. How's my egg doing? Did it hatch? No, no, no. It, it doesn't take one second for it to hatch, so you have to kind of wait a little bit. I used to be a Pokemon trainer like you, but as soon as I reached Beale Beach, I was like, I said, why train Pokemon when I can party? <laughs> Again, people and he's like, she's like. I mean, I just, I, I think it's rather, rather lazy. I mean, just, why don't you just say a verb? I mean, that's what makes a lot more sense. I mean, that's what grammatically makes more sense. And, oh, okay, I guess we have another, um... Oh, it's the bicycle music, okay. Well, bicycle music from Gen 1. The quality of service here is most excellent. They even have a special grooming center for po- Oh, that's... Yeah, that's That would be he heavenly for my Pokemon, too. I'm waiting for my friends to finish putting on their bathing suits so we can hit the beach! And yeah, I guess you must be one of those hot hot women. Okay. <laughs> and now, we had, what do you have to say, purple-haired guy? I have a permanent penthouse suite on the top floor. It has a view of the end. Oh. Oh, aren't you a high horse? I'm sorry, but access to the hotel is limited to hotel patrons and their guests only. Oh, well, can we register then? Can we book a room here? Yep. Yep. I see. Oh, I guess they have a lottery too. And we also have a casino, of course, because we can't really have a hotel without a casino now, can we? How much will it cost? I'm sorry, but you need to be... You are a heartless bastard. Oh my god. Does the maid have anything to say? Yo, Obo! My ha main homie. This is Senior Goldcorn. Ready for a rematch? Oh. 
Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't really expect my Pokepot to go off. I mean, I was just wondering if that was a cutscene going off or something. Yeah, here's the lottery corner. Well, let's see. Let's check today's lucky number. I'm sorry, but none of your Pokemon matched the ID. Nope, I'm sorry, you didn't get a match. Please do visit again. Yeah, of course, because my luck is always like that. Oh, come on, Bellhop. Hey, this area is not for kids. Well, I see, you're a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon battles are basically a kind of gambling any... Yeah, kind of, because you lose money if you lose the match. So there's no reason I shouldn't allow you to enter. Not to mention, you may want to win the many rare Pokemon we offer as prizes. Here, take this free of charge. Oh, thanks for the coin case. Okay. Enjoy your stay at the beachside casino. Happy gaming, uh, because you can't gamble. <laughs> oh, I won big today. I'm gonna buy a cute Pokemon. I miss if I go inside these. Oh, that's yeah, that's really flashy. Some really flashy lighting there. Oh, okay. Well, let's, uh, uh, welcome to Beo Beach Casino, not Casino, but Casino. Let's just get 50 coins for starters, even though I, I'm probably not going to be spending my time here anyway. Voltorb Flip is... Yep, that's a Gen 2 game. Wait, what do you have to say, guitarist? Spin, spin, spin. The name of the game is Double G's. You have to spin to win. I remember that arcade game. Um, back at this one, um, playhouse I actually used to go to, I, I, which I've been in a couple of times at, back in my hometown, but anyway, <laughs> they call me Lucky Jack. Every night I drive tourists around in a limousine. Every day I take my winnings to this here casino and gamble all day long. You poor sick man. I always end up with more than I started out with, too. I like your style, kid. Here's a little gift for, let me guess your coins. Yep. So I get 150 coins in my coin case. Maybe some of my good luck will rub off, rub off on you, eh? I guess we'll see. There's no clocks or windows in here. How long have I been at this? Well, I might as well go another round. <laughs> uh, I think I should probably leave now. Kind of vacate the premises. No funny business, you hear? You're on camera. You're on candid camera. Oh boy, what am I going to do in front of this candid camera? Hmm. Uh, no thanks. Do you have any Pokemon for me? Oh, uh, no, no, no. But let's see if we have any rare kinds. Okay, Trackdon is... I'm guessing he is the equivalent of Porygon. Braille up, 2800. Baran... I already have a Kinnip Monk, so that's kind of going to be kind of a waste of money. And what's this going to be? TMs? I love how it's just TM7, 3000 coins. An unidentified fallen object. Why would that? What use would that be? I mean, what on earth is this UFO? <laughs> Un unidentified fallen object, not flying object, but fallen. Like, what is that supposed to be? Now, I mean, I don't want to blow nine thousand coins on that either. I mean, I know it looks kind of interesting, but you know, I don't want to blow all my money on that probably not be worth it. The most important thing about being a lifeguard is looking good while wearing that white stuff on your nose. What? And all the sunblock. What? There's more to it than that? Want a coconut... Want a coconut milk? Fine. Even though I kind of prefer if you had a choice of both um, milk and water, because some people like water better to, you know, better than coconut milk. We're on a romantic date together. Oh, she does does look kind of a plain Jane here. This would, this would be more romantic if he wasn't ogling that other... Li yep, here we go. We have the man here. We have the man always looking at the very flashy, very sexy women. Yo, I heard the gym leader's a real hottie. I'm gonna train our Pokemon so that I'm good enough to battle her. And I'll ask her on a date. No, that's gonna be me because I'm gonna be whipping the ass with her Pokemon, and then she'll be forced to go out on a date with me. Because, I mean, that's just how I roll. Hello there, trainer. For a small fee, I can make your Pokemon the happiest it can be. I have a very busy schedule, however, so I can only do it once a day. 
Oh. Well, let me... Oh, I forgot to heal up my Zoro. Okay, well, anyway. Hydrosaurus it is, then. Uh, I got some treatment. Come back tomorrow, yep. I have no idea what I got, but I'll have to review it in the video. When I'm rendering this thing out. Now, do we have any Pokemon centers here that can heal my Pokemon? So far, I like how this is all laid out. Oh, oh so that's the Pokemon. Yeah, I love how this was all drawn out here. Just to make it a little bit more like a Delfino, like an Isle Delfino style resort town. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty snazzy. Very quaint, kind of, you know, very Parisian. And I should probably talk to all the NPCs here t while I'm here. <laughs> there's a Pokemon Center and there's an item right behind it. Right behind the building. So let me do that and... Let me talk to this chick. I tried to fight Callie, the le I guess her name is Callie, but she wiped me out. Gonna train up and tra try again. Hey, wanna bet? Sure. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you're not very tough. Oh yeah, hey, you're a cool trainer, so that means you- That must mean that you are tough. But we'll see. Come on out, Zoro, and try to finish the job for me. Even though I know you won't. That is if you miss two air cutters in a row, that is. Come on, big money! Yeah, there we go, big money it is. I'm raking in the dough. I'm raking in the pizza dough. Can it, Monk? Hey, grows already. Here we go. Because you need a little bit more experience here. A little bit more experience, buddy. So, anyway. How, how many how many Kinnip Monks will it take to defeat a Grozard? Here's the answer. Maybe five. Or maybe three, depending on how very terrible Littlefoot's defense is, which is kind of... Oh! What am I doing? I forgot that I can actually... Okay, there we go. We lowered its defense. Right now, I'm going to spend some time to heal up my Pokemon. If I have any potions, that is. Yes, I do. Even though I could have just used a potion. <laughs> okay, here's Quick Attack again. Hopefully it's not very devastating. Eh, it, kind of, it, it kind of was. It was kind of the same damage as was inflicted on me before. Yeah, I guess it's always 15 damage with this guy. But you go down just the same. Mm -hmm. Anything more here? Mankey, um... Yeah, let's go back to Albedon. Here we go. So air cut in my face. Two twenty-two experience points it is. And I really need to train. Well, I mean, you, you put up a good fight nonetheless, though. The good thing about battling in Poke Centers is that you don't need to go far to heal. Okay, sorry guys, I had company over, so I didn't really realize that I had to stop the video very abruptly, so... So yeah, as a result of that, we get to finish this off at night, so... Well, you know, you know me, I'm just I'm very inconspicuous, you know, I don't want to really show what I'm doing here to the rest of my family. Nope. The bad thing is that they yell at you, just like in the anime, you yeah. know, because there are some nurse toys that are not very, not very patient ones, I can tell you that. And I guess the subway is still closed. I'm guessing that they're going to reopen at the end of the game. Hey, buddy, you want to buy a watch? 
<laughs> Do you want to buy a sundial? Because speak of the devil, I watched Hercules earlier. Oh, you got a Poke Pod already. Uh, look, don't tell the Rangers I'm here, okay? Um, have a nice day. Con man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snitch on you. I'm going to, st I'm gonna tell these guys that you are actually pulling a confidence trick. I keep getting these skeevy looks from this one dude. Ew. Oh boy. I guess that is some very friendly expressions you've got on your face there, girly. And what are you- Hey, aren't you- Whoa! Your elbow, right? The Chiefs kid. Quick, someone get Kel- Oh wait, Kellen's here? I didn't realize that Kellen was- I didn't realize that my dad was working here. Elbow? What are you doing here in B.O. Beach? I see that you have Pokeballs and a Pokedex. That's right, you're doing research for P Professor Bumble, right? You're a Pokemon trainer now, and everything. Ellipses. Oh, well, I'm at a loss for words. It's been so long since I last saw you. I should have expected your arrival. Yeah, you probably should have, since I am, after all, your son. Because I... I guess I'm expected to visit you every now and then. After all, there is a Pokemon gym here. It makes sense that you would come to Beo Beach, because after all, there's a gym, and if I don't beat the gym leader in said gym, I don't qualify for the league. Still, I always wanted to give you a special tour of the Ranger HQ. This is the biggest Ranger station in all of West Tandor, and as you know, I'm the chief. It's a job with lots of responsibility, and I guess my first thing I should probably tell you, Dad, is that there's a guy who is... There's a shady guy who is selling watches on the streets, so I have to report this to you. So you understand I've been busy. Too busy to visit you in Mulky Town, which is kind of a shame. My goodness, you've grown so much, Obo. Okay, that's a good way to change the subject. Traveling the region on your own. Of course, I was the same when I was your age. I was a junior cadet in the Omnia region. Oh, I guess that's a new region, then. So, how is it that boy, Theo? How is that boy, Theo? Well, let me just tell you that he's a bit of a whiner. You and he left Moki Town together, if I recall correctly. I see he's still following in your foot... Uh, well, in a way. I mean, he's trying to see if he can outrival me, which is... He is not really... He hasn't been really successful right now, so, you know, it's... He's just being a regular little... Snot nose. You may have the mar makings of a good leader in you. Just like your old man. Oh, <laughs> just like my boy. My boy. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Chief, but there's a lot. Uh, there's a letter for you. A letter? Hmm. It's from Cameron at the new nuclear power plant. Oh, well, this should be interesting news. He says that construction is proceeding as usual. Soon the new plant will be fully operational. <laughs> just like the Death Star. He certainly works fast. I'll grant him that. Are you sure he's not really working on the Death Star or, you know, something very... very ominous like that? Still, a new power plant, so soon after the old one was destroyed. Oh, that Cameron, always delving into very dangerous work. Oh, well, I know that this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask of you. Yeah, because of course I'm ten years old. I need you to go to Power Plant Epsilon and deliver my response to Cameron. Will you do it? It's important to proceed with caution. Lucille, your mother, disappeared on that very island ten years back. It's important that we never forget that. Here, Obo, please take this. I'm gonna hope that my mother is still alive, because if she isn't, then... Yeah, that's gonna be a real tragedy, because, I mean, I don't wanna... have to, you know, ten years later, it's... just... you know... wake up to discover that my mother is actually dead, and... She was, you know, she disappeared without a trace, and then word traveled out that she died in that ten-year interim. I will send you to the power plant and tell them to expect you. I think that Cameron will be happy to see you, too. I will come along, too, but I'm too lazy. But I'm certain you can handle it yourself. You're my child, after all. Until next time, Mobo. Oh, you're not going to do a Team Rocket-style vanishing routine? Uh, oh, that's a bit disappointing. We don't capture Pokemon like trainers do, but some of us keep a partner Pokemon. My partner, Star Raptor. Ah! Came with, with me all the way from the Amia region, which I guess I am assuming that you guys have seen no Pokemon. We don't capture Pokemon like. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? 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 Okay, that was a bit of a glitch. 
So I guess these guys say the same thing. Our boss, Kellen, has an, has an um, very awkward punctuation mark, T, been the same since the accident 10 years ago. The one where he lost his wife. Somehow, you know, under mysterious circumstances. Oh boy, I need you to deliver that letter to Cameron. Right now, he's on the nuclear power... He is on the nuclear plant island. Slow down. You can get there by taking a boat from the dock on Route 7 to the south. And now, what do you have to say? I'm a new ranger cadet! Kellen is my idol! Which, I guess, is very... That's to expect of you, since you're a new guy. We designated Route 11 as a nature preserve to help replenish some of Tandor. Again, really awkward computer um, uh, um, punctuation mark as endangered species. Trainers aren't RN squared T allowed to catch Pokemon there without a per rectangle without a permit. Uh, okay, so I don't know why I am one layer above this TV. <laughs> We rangers do a lot of work here in Tandor. We rectangle er, a combination of crime fighting, search and rescue, and environmental protection. I guess you guys specialize in all those disciplines. This is an emergency care facility for injured Pokemon and people. Please take some hand sanitizer. We don't rectangle T want anybody getting sick. What's with the absence of, po of apostrophes here? Why um, didn't the computer... I mean, why didn't RPG Maker register the apostrophes properly? That's just a bit... bit odd. This building has a landing pad on the roof. That way we can airlift in those with critical injuries. Many of our patients are still recovering. Please respect their boundaries, okay? I won't re respect their boundaries. Ha <laughs> ha... No, I'm just kidding. No, I I pay my respects. We found this little guy on Route 3. Some trainer had poisoned him and just let... Sounds like Damien! I wonder what Damien is doing these days. I brought my son in here yesterday with a fever of 101. Wow. He's doing a lot better now thanks to the care of these nurses. And I'm glad that the... I'm, it seems like the hospitals here are for free, so... Just in case if you happen to run a fever or some very terrible disease, just go over here and... The nurses shall take care of you. Please take these antidotes to help you with your... Oh, thank you, because I was wanting to stock up more on those things. And now let's see what this caring mother has to say. Hello, fellow citizen. There, there, sweetheart. I brought you some soup. How we get better, you little tyke? You big lug. Or rather, you little lug. <laughs> well, I'm being young, eh? Well, again, just... Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. I shall sing you a song, or, you know, I should probably battle for charity. I, I kind of wish I could do, you know, just battle for charity and I can donate some of my Poké Dollars to a hospital such as this, you know, so I can make sure that all these little children come home safe and sound without having to worry their parents. Because, I mean, I, it, it really sucks having to be sick. I know that for a fact, guys. This is the research and development lab. The Tandor Rangers work with scientists and experts to develop solutions for problems in the region. Uh huh. Uh, random delay. We Rangers rely on cutting edge technology to do our jobs. In particular, we use capture stylers, a non violent way to calm and control. Po oh, that's kind of nifty. Capture stylers are unique because they work on trained and wild Pokemon alike. However, a well-trained Pokemon can resist the power of a capture styler. It seems like the strength of its bond with its trainer plays a role, yeah? What, what, what's this thing? What in the name of is this? Is this a metal girder of some kind? Oh! I'm just going to assume that this is a bowling alley or some sort of random lane or some kind of thing like that. I mean, this is a really weird graphic. I kind of wonder what this whole thing is. Well, anyway. So, Obo, you're Kellen's kid, right? To be honest, I was surprised he had one. He never talks about his family when he's on the job, maybe because he's trying to kind of suppress his grief. This machine monitors weather patterns across the region. There's a similar one on in all the ranger bases. 
all your ranger bases are but by using this machine to predict the weather, we can foresee your victory, storms and hurricanes, before they happen. I wonder if there's an, an item in this plant. No, I guess there is not an item in this plant. Nope, nothing but a pot and a vase. Or rather, a vase. A vase full of disappointment and... And... Lemonimity. There's a good word for you. <laughs> I even I don't really know what that word means. Hoo wee! Beal Beach is bigger than I ever could have imagined. Hot dog! This lights the sounds. I ain't got the first idea what I should do here. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now I think I should probably see if I can find the gym. Public. Wow, this place is really big. I have to admit, it's gonna take another part or so to just kind of explore ever every single building. I mean, it's going to take maybe two to three parts. And this is a park. Yeah, I think I should probably leave it here, folks. And I think I will... Let me see if I can find the Pokemon Center again. God, this place is big. I think this is even bigger than Lily Cove, and this is playing the Lily Cove music. Okay, anyway, we will leave it here, and... This time, I think we will be checking out both the gym and the remainder of this really large Serena Beach-esque city. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys when I feel less drunk.